Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Golden Bachelorette Suter admits he's fallen for Joan Vassos. Some Golden Bachelorette men bear all this week in a striptease, but one man bears his heart and admits he's falling for Joan Vassos. With the show heating up, this admission adds a whole new level of romance and tension. Keep reading for all the details. One suitor says goodbye, leaves show. The next Golden Bachelorette is going to be a roller coaster until any other. Joan Vassos takes some of her men on a date where they strip down after learning some moves from the famous Chippendale dancers. Caitlin Bristow makes an appearance for the tawdry date that's actually for a really good cause that's close to Joan's heart. Suter Chot Chapel is another thing close to Joan Vassos' heart. The previews heavily tease that he leaves the show for a family emergency like Joan did during Jerry Turner's season. But will he return to the show later in the season? Click here to find out all the details on Chalk's unexpected exit. Golden Bachelorette Suter admits he's falling for Joan Vassos. While Joan Vassos shares a heartbreaking goodbye to Chalk, another Suter confesses that he's starting to fall for her. Mark Anderson wowed viewers during his brief appearance on Joey Graziella's season of The Bachelor. He made his TV debut during Kelsey Anderson's hometown date. Now he's about to be Joey's father-in-law. Mark Anderson can relate to Joan Vassos in a way that not all of the suitors can. Like Joan, Mark lost his spouse of many years to cancer. Joan's husband died of pancreatic cancer in 2021. Mark and Kelsey lost Kelsey's mom to breast cancer in 2018. He's finally ready to find love again with his daughter's encouragement. He joined the Golden Bachelorette to woo Joan. Mark is part of the Chippendale date, but he also bears his heart during a phone call with Kelsey. Sixth ABC Philadelphia shared an exclusive clip of the check-in. I'm telling you, this has been the best time in the last six and a half years, Mark said to his daughter about his experience in the Bachelor Mansion so far. He gushed over Joan. When I'm with Joan, I feel great. She's so there with each conversation and she just remembers so much. Kelsey Anderson encouraged her dad to enjoy his time on the reality TV show. I'm just so happy for you, dad, and I hope that you continue to make the most of this experience and I hope I see you soon at hometowns. The glistening chandeliers of the asterisk golden bachelorette asterisk mansion shimmer against the soft light of the setting sun. The scent of roses filled the air as the remaining suitors milled about, each preparing themselves for another emotionally charged evening. Among them, one suitor had something very important on his mind. His heart was pounding in his chest, a mixture of excitement, nervousness, and sheer vulnerability. The man in question. None other than Gregory Greg Thompson, a 62-year-old retired architect from Michigan. Over the course of the show, Greg had been one of the more reserved suitors, often hanging back and observing rather than jumping into the emotional fray. But now, after several weeks of dates, cocktail parties, and group activities, Greg had reached a turning point. The woman who had captured his heart was none other than the charming, witty, and effortlessly graceful Joan Vassos. Joan, a 60-year-old retired art teacher from New Jersey, had been a standout from the very beginning. Her calm demeanor, intellectual conversations, and warm heart had drawn not only the attention of the audience, but also the admiration of her fellow contestants. But it was Greg who, perhaps more than any other suitor, had been completely captivated by her presence. Asterisk, asterisk, the early connection, asterisk, asterisk. From the very first night when Greg stepped out of the limo, there was an undeniable spark between him and Joan. Unlike some of the other suitors who opted for grand gestures or cheesy one-liners, Greg had kept things simple. A soft smile, a sincere compliment, and a shared moment of laughter set the stage for what would become one of the most genuine connections of the season. During the first few weeks, their relationship blossomed gradually. It wasn't about grand romantic declarations or dramatic confrontations. It was about quiet moments of understanding. Joan appreciated Greg's steadiness, his ability to listen without interrupting, and his genuine curiosity about her life, family, and passions. For Greg, Joan was unlike anyone he had ever met. She's got this inner strength, you know, he said in one of his earlier interviews. She's been through so much, but she doesn't let it define her. She's got this incredible grace about her. 
It's hard to explain, but I just feel drawn to her. Their first one-on-one -on -one date solidified that connection. They spent the day strolling through a vineyard, sipping wine, and sharing stories from their past. By the end of the evening, there was no doubt that something special was forming between them. But Greg, ever the thoughtful gentleman, wasn't ready to rush things. I want to take my time with this, he told the cameras. I don't want to push her or overwhelm her. I know how fragile these things can be, and Joan's worth the wait. Asterisk, asterisk, the turning point asterisk, asterisk. As the weeks went on, Greg and Joan's relationship continued to deepen. While other suitors vied for Joan's attention with grand gestures, Greg remained his steady, thoughtful self. He was always there for her, whether it was a quiet conversation during a cocktail party or offering her his jacket on a chilly evening. But as the group of suitors began to shrink and the competition grew fiercer, Greg knew he needed to open up more if he wanted to truly capture Joan's heart. The turning point came during a group date that took the contestants to a rustic ranch. It was a day filled with laughter, horseback riding, and a bit of friendly competition. But as the day wound down and the other men were distracted with their own activities, Greg and Joan found themselves alone by a fire pit, the crackling flames casting a warm glow over their faces. I've been holding back a little, Greg admitted, his voice quiet but steady. Joan tilted her head, her eyes searching his face for what was coming next. I didn't want to scare you off or say something too soon, but I need you to know, I'm falling for you, Joan. The words hung in the air, heavy with emotion and sincerity. Joan blinked, clearly taken aback by the sudden admission. For a moment, neither of them spoke, the only sound being the crackling of the fire and the distant calls of the ranch animals. Greg held his breath, waiting for her reaction, unsure of what she would say. Finally, Joan reached out, her fingers gently brushing his. Greg, I, I didn't expect that, she admitted, her voice soft but warm. But I'm really glad you told me. Her response was measured, but there was no denying the smile that tugged at the corners of her lips. It wasn't a grand declaration of love, but it was enough for Greg. In that moment, he felt a sense of peace wash over him. He'd had said what he needed to say, and Joan hadn't run away. In fact, she seemed to be drawing closer to him. As the season of Golden Bachelorette progresses, the competition for Joan's heart is only going to intensify. The remaining suitors will have to dig deep, sharing more of their personal stories and emotions if they want to make it to the final rose ceremony. For Greg, the challenge will be balancing his quiet, thoughtful nature with the need to express his growing feelings for Joan more openly. But if his recent admission is any indication, Greg is more than ready to step up to the plate. I've been in relationships before, but I've never felt like this. He confessed to the cameras after his heart to part with Joan. There's something about her, something real. I'm falling for her, and I'm not afraid to say it anymore. Only time will tell if Joan feels the same way. But one thing is certain. Greg is all in. Whether it's a stroll through the vineyard, a quiet conversation by the fire, or simply holding her hand, he's ready to take the next step in this beautiful, unexpected journey.